Recording. Recording. I'm looking good. I think. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Monroe Telly, I am an illustrator and today I want to talk about markers. So the reason I'm t I wanted to talk about this is because I recently wanted to paint with markers but I didn't have any. So these are markers that I got, these are the Pelican Colorella Duo and they were really cheap for 10 markers. I only pay 5 euros 20 which is around 6 dollars, 6 US dollars, I don't really know. <laughs> I am not used to work with this kind of markers, I normally use Copic, I've tried Pro markers, I've tried Tombow, it's been a long time ever since I painted with markers and I wanted to do a review. Why? I think there's this kind of weird vibe that illustrators must have tools that are just like top quality or they have to be like super expensive to work and reality is that if you want to draw you just draw with whatever you have. I did try the markers and I really... I'm not gonna say it, I'm just gonna leave it just like for the end and let's go see what did I draw and I will tell you guys about my pro con list. <laughs> First of all, I think these markers are totally affordable. They are, like I told you, 5 euros 20. And for you to get an idea, I get one Copic marker for 6 euros or 5 euros or something like that. So it's a difference. It makes a difference. Then I have to say that I love the saturation of the colors. I love the fact that they also have this double tip, it just makes things easier for me. The thing, I don't know if this is a con <laughs> or a pro or maybe both, I don't know. There's a limited color palette, right? You have these 10 markers and that's it. So I would take this as a pro because you have to really be creative with how you're gonna paint in order to yeah, to actually get a result that you want. It's not easy to paint with a limited color palette and not being able to do like um, different shadows or blending the different markers. I don't know if I'm explaining myself. I hope I do. So my cons, uh, ergonomically, they are a bit, yeah, they, they are not the best because if I don't know, when I'm painting, the, the, the marker tends to slide through my fingers and that's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's nothing so important. I have nowhere to put the cup and that it's a bit frustrating for me because if you're a mess like me, you will tend to lose these little cups, <laughs> right? That is a con. Uh, okay, I think that the limited color palette is also a con because if you're working for a client or if you really want to like take your shadowing and blending to the next level, this, these guys are not for you. Also, they bleed a lot and you can't paint over like many many times on the surface because it bleeds and it can eventually break. 
So something that I really didn't mention there and I think I have to mention is that the texture you get from painting with markers, it's amazing and especially with these markers because you can actually feel there's something different. It gives some kind of trashy vibe that I really like. What do I have to say as an illustrator? I like them. I like them. They are good for the price. They are fun to try and I would say that if you really want to go like an extra mile, you can get a copy later or, or not, because it's not really necessary. So I would say I, I would probably use it for different projects, but yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you want to know more about me, you can just like stay subscribed. And I have a blog if you like reading things about art and stuff. So go there, check it out read it, share it with someone, I don't know. I post some drawings on Instagram if you are interested, so yeah. I don't know why did I open my mouth so open. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Oh my